In this Flash CS3 and ActionScript 3 lesson, we'll be demonstrating how to create custom context menus, that right-click menus that you can uh, customize on your HTML page. If you have an SWF, you can uh, right-click it, and you see I have a uh, custom context menu here where I put a text string on the first one, and on the second one I put a button where you can replay my animation. So every time you click replay, it replays the animation without any buttons it's all in the right click menu and I hide the built-in menu items and you can put as many of these these items in here as you like you can have eight of them in there if you want doing various things and saying various things so let's get right to it we'll click uh, flash action script 3 file and I'm gonna restage the size a little because I don't need it so big for what we're doing here yours will be any size and frame rate get to about 24 so I'm going to make a little movie clip and then uh, press OK and then this layer we're going to name movie clip and the layer above it we'll name actions and that's where we'll put our action script so in the movie clip layer, we'll go ahead and drag out a text, a static text field, and we're going to write "Flash is cool." Okay. Now right-click that, convert to symbol, make it a movie clip symbol. Uh, registration center is fine it can be named whatever you want because that's the name in the library and press OK down in the instance name here where it is important we'll put my movie clip as an instance name my movie clip and then we will double click inside of my movie clip and convert this the static text field to a symbol again another movie clip and name that whatever you want press OK and here we'll do some inside of this movie clip we'll do some animation on the timeline here we'll press F6 on frame 10 make a new keyframe and in the center create motion tween then highlight uh, frame 10 and then hit the free transform tool with the text highlighted or with the movie clip highlighted and we'll resize it down small then we'll hit frame 20 right click the center create motion tween highlight frame 20 make it bigger highlight frame 30 hit F6 right click the center create motion tween highlight frame 30 and resize and then do it again on frame 40 and then create motion tween and we'll resize it to be big again and then on this we'll put a stop action that way it tells it to stop and not loop back to the beginning it'll stop right there so it'll bounce twice and then stop so let's double click here in the gray to get back into the main scene or you could press main scene right there and now we'll start putting our action script. Make sure we have an instance name, my movie clip. And we'll put our action script in. And the first thing we're going to do is build the first item that goes into the custom context menu. And that's a variable. We'll name it menu item 1. This is context menu item. Yeah, thank God for the code help by ActionScript here, or by uh, the guys that built Flash. Because it shows you how to write these things out, and even turns it green. So if you know if it all stays black on some of these, uh, on some of these namings, that uh, you get the syntax wrong. So we have a context menu item equals new context menu item. And put in brackets here. This is our string. Created by item. And close that up. Finish it off with a semicolon. And that's the first menu item. Now we'll put the second menu item, and that one's going to be our little replay button that I showed you. And this one you can build much like the first one. Make sure you can copy and paste and just change a few things if you wanted. Okay, this will be the same, so we're going to go ahead and copy and paste that. And yep, that's all going to be okay. 
and this one's going to be labeled replay. Replay, and let's get the space out of the way there. Okay, so created by Adam, and the second one's going to say replay. Now we're going to put a uh, event listener on that second one, so it's a button, and it controls our SWI. And name it, uh, menu item 2 is the listener. Add, event listener. This is listening the context menu event. Menu's off the uppercase, I think. Yep. Menu item select. We can just go ahead and hit this down here when they, when they show it to us. Puts it right up there for us. And then we'll put comma. And uh, the function that we'll name is context to down. Move this a little so we can see that. Press F9 again. Okay. The context to down. That's the name of the function that the uh, menu item 2 is listening for. And now, let's go ahead and uh, make that function. We're going to go down a little past a few lines there. And type in function. Context to down. Event. Colon. Context menu. Oops. Let's see if they bring it up for me again. No, they don't bring up the event. Oh, there it is. Context menu event. And double click that. Bring it right in. And then we'll put our colon, our void. And brace. Come down here. Close it off. Go back up there. My movie clip. This is the name of the movie clip we made. We'll say dot. Go to and play one. And this will make the little movie clip replay. On the right click menu. So now we have a listener on the right-click menu item there. That one is named replay. And this is what it will do when clicked. You can put anything you want in this function. Okay, so that's named right. Okay. Now we're going to build the bar for the custom context menu itself. And hide the built-in items and all that good stuff. Say bar. Custom context menu. And we'll name custom context menu. And this is context menu. Equals a new context menu. And then, we're going to hide the built-in items. So on the next line... We can just take this here, highlight it, control C, paste it in the next line, and just say dot, hide built-in items. And once you type in the HI, this will show up. And double click that, hide built-in items, and we can just close this off. Now go to the next line, and we're going to highlight this again. And this one, we're going to push the items that we created, one and two, into the custom context menu. So in this one, we can press uh, control V to paste that in again. And this one, we're going to push into the custom items, push in the custom items, however they want to, however you want to window that. And here we push. Menu item 1 in. Make sure I get that name right. Menu item 1. Okay, menu item 1. Menu item 1. Push in. And I can just highlight that whole thing now. And just go to the next line. Control V. And put 2 here. Okay, so we pushed both 1 and 2 into the menu. Now, we write this. Context menu uh, equals the custom context menu. Alright, let's test it out and see if it works. I'm going to publish. Hopefully it won't get any errors. There it is. It played the animation. I'm going to right click it and you can see it, it worked. So it's uh, created by Adam and it says replay. I'm going to press replay and it replays my animation. Very cool. And that is all there is to it. I'm going to put this FLA up for you guys to download and you can just download it, get the code right out of it and the code will also be listed under the tutorial where it's playing under the video. Okay, we'll see you guys next lesson.